Constitution. This is my question to that's you. That's my but that's my point. Do you find the timing strange and why? <laughs> well, I, I don't know, but I I I don't think Malacañang will go along with this. Yes. Oh, why not? Why, well, they've why said should it? So so you don't think that this came from Malacañang? I doubt it. But you know to me Let's talk about the cost. Right? If I were Malacanang, five to seven billion, I'll put that yeah. in the universal health care yeah. of people. Mm -hmm. I'll put it there because that's a good law, by the way, but there's not enough funds. Yeah, and, right? and based on our, uh, on our experience with previous Chacha initiatives, you think this even stands a chance? It will have to go well, through I a don't. referendum. Yeah. If, ever, it, if it ever hurdles Congress, if it ever hurdles <laughs> Senate opposition, you think people will go along with it? People, Filipinos mistrust anything that smacks of a yeah. longer term. Well, the, the other thing I heard is that well, every country is doing this, doing that, you know, that uh, this, this Tayo land na lang and so on. Yes, yes. In our country, because of our history of feudalism and colonial power and a dictatorship, land is more than an economic commodity. Mm. It is a social oh, asset. Yeah because it represents the entry of the poor into the mainstream of society. Mm -hmm. So we cannot do this in the context of, oh yeah, but it's done here in the States and so on. In the first place, the United States has so much excess of land, right? Mm -hmm. We don't. So I'd really rather look at it in the context of what is our situation today? If we are going to change the Constitution, it must be because it will benefit the poor. If it will just benefit and give power and, and opportunities to satisfy the greed of politicians and the greed of business, I will go against it. So looking at this latest proposal to change the constitution, you think it will not benefit the I poor? hope, no. How? How will it benefit the